Hi everyone, today I'm going to be reviewing and upgrading the Lenovo ThinkPad P52. This is my personal laptop that I've used to replace an aging desktop, so feel free to ask me questions in the comments below. The P52 marks the first Lenovo model to be offered with a 6-core Intel 8th generation processor. 6 cores are also offered in the newer and slimmer P1 and X1 Extreme models, but for the price and my use case, I chose the P52. I ordered my laptop with the Xeon processor. You'll run into throttling if you're trying to conserve power on battery, or if the fan isn't able to keep the processor cool enough, so keep that in mind when choosing. I also upgraded to the 4K display. Now this is multi-touch, I don't use the touch input very often, but the 400 nits, the extra brightness, certainly does help. The 4K resolution is great and Windows has no problem scaling. Now this laptop actually supports 4 DIMMs of RAM. I'll show you how to upgrade the empty slots a little later. I went with 32GB and ECC happened to be the same price as NON, so I chose to match that with the Xeon. In the Xeon configuration, you only get the P2000 discrete graphics option, but there are a lower and higher grade version if you select the i7-8850H. Windows use both graphics cards, the internal processor Intel graphics, and then the discrete NVIDIA for heavy lifting. I chose the cheapest hard drive because I'm going to be removing it and upgrading to two NVMe solid state drives. The P52 can actually support three hard drives, one traditional 2.5 inch and two M.2 SSD slots. Before opening the laptop, remove the battery. There's only an external battery so you don't need to disable any internal one in the BIOS. To remove the back panel, simply unscrew the six screws with a Phillips head. Use the lip on the bottom to pop the panel off. I found that it was a lot easier to remove than some other models. This is where the existing 2.5 inch hard drive is. These are for the NVM solid states. And there's two open RAM slots here. The other two slots are underneath the keyboard. Luckily, Lenovo populates the RAM in those DIMMs at the factory. So if you're going to add additional RAM yourself, you can use these two here. Now, all of the locations have a protective sheet over them, but they can be pulled back easily to expose the connector. I'm going to install two Samsung EVO 970 NVMe solid state hard drives. They're very quick and they have great reliability so far. I chose a 2TB for my system drive and a 1TB on the side. I chose to remove the existing hard drive and start with a fresh Windows installation. Simply remove this connector here, pull up on the tab, and pull out the hard drive. You can certainly keep the existing hard drive installed, especially if you're going to use it to clone to the SSD. You'll want to confirm in the BIOS that the SSD slots are being booted first after you install the OS on your solid state. Now we'll install the new hard drives. They're very small, about the size of a stick of gum. There's a screw on the left side. Remove the screw. Lift the protective sheet up and put the hard drive in at a slight angle. Now you just need to screw it down to secure it. If you're installing a second hard drive, simply repeat the process on the other open slot. You can actually raid these two if they're the same capacity, but I didn't do that. Check the maintenance manual for more info. One error I did notice is while the hardware is labeled 0 and 1 locations here, they are recognized opposite by the BIOS. Reinstall the back cover and reinsert the battery. Now I'll quickly go over the steps I took for a fresh Windows install. You can download Windows 10 installation media from the Microsoft website. Use their tool to create a USB boot disk. Now boot up your computer with the USB installed. Choose the hard drive you'd like and continue. Once complete, Windows will start up. Now unfortunately, Windows didn't recognize my wireless card, so I had to go download the drivers on another computer and bring it over on the USB. Once you have internet up and running, you'll want to go to the Lenovo website and download the rest of the drivers. I also downloaded Samsung Magician to manage my hard drives. I ran into two issues during my installation process. First, Windows could not activate my license automatically. I had to hit troubleshoot and then Windows found my license key on my system. It notified me that I had Windows Pro Workstation key, which must be slightly different than just Windows Pro. It asked me if I wanted to upgrade. I said yes, and it upgraded and activated just fine. The second issue is that Windows didn't automatically recognize my second hard drive when I first installed. Instead, after installing all the drivers, activating Windows, and restarting, I had to go into Disk Manager and create a simple volume and then rerun Samsung Magician. That's it, you should be up and running. 
I put a lot of helpful links below in the description. Please feel free to comment, and thanks for watching.